Yo, how's it going? Um, as you know, when I say as you know, nobody watches my videos, so like it's not as you know, you know, um, I don't have, well, I have seven subscribers, but like from like, when I look down my videos and I see who's watched what, mostly people haven't watched any. So, um, I mean, I got five views on one video, um, but like, um, it's not as you know, it's, um, so I'll just tell you, um, I have, when I make a video, usually, right, I have no, hold on a minute, I'm a bit to the right, I want to be to the left. I have no... Well, sometimes I have like an idea that I want to include or that I like want to begin with, but you know, I I just I just turn the camera on and I start speaking, you know. Um usually what I do. Um I'm nice and close to the camera this time. Um I made a video where I was quite far away. Um, not too comfortable with that. So I've got my jacket on. Um, I, um, I woke up this morning with a very low mood. Um, there was a reason for that. It's something that I can't share. I don't want to share, um, on YouTube. But, um, having said that, you know, maybe it had nothing to do with it at all. Maybe my mood, you know, moods, they go up, they come down. You know, mostly my mood is up. I'll be honest, mostly my mood is up. Um, I'm very, very lucky. Um, and my mood was low for a bit. So um, what I did was I rang my mum. I didn't want to, <clears throat> but... I compared it to like when I go in a coffee house because I have anxiety and coffee can really fuck me up, right? And when I go in a coffee house, I will never um, walk in there, you know, think, oh God, I'm too scared and walk out again. I don't do it because it triggers me. You know, if I walk in there to have a coffee, I will buy a coffee and I will drink a coffee, you know. Um, so it was the same with ringing my mum, you know. I, I said, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to hesitate. I'm just going to do it. So I rang my mum and um, she really lifted my mood. Um, she didn't say anything inspirational. She didn't say anything super uplifting. You know, we just talked. But um, my, my mood lifted up. And I think that the most powerful mood lifter... I had this morning it was either it was either the second coffee I had took a few minutes to hit me or it was the rescue remedy I had because I had four drops of this rescue remedy right it's it's in a, it's in a yellow box you can get it in the UK and uh, it's a bark flower remedy and um uh sorry sorry I've got a I've got a I've got a, um, which I'm getting better at. I am getting better at. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Um, and I, I just, this, this was, this is like I'm younger, you know, the way, the way I used to do, because like, I just, I just started getting my shoes on because I just felt like getting my shoes on, you know, and I'm not actually making a decision to get out the door. I'm just getting my shoes on and I'm just going, you know, um, I'm just kind of doing it without knowing why I'm doing it sort of thing. Um, so I'm going for a walk down Fallbridge Road this time, you know, um, it's nice walk. It's a very short distance till I get there. Um, the street I live on has um, a depressing end and an uplifting end. And from my place towards Fallbridge Road is the uplifting end. So I've got that. 
And then for me personally, the, the be very best bit of the whole walk is walking over the um, dual carriageway um which is which is which is well it's way you know i've said way it's like a it's like a freeway it's except it's not a freeway because there's not like a million lanes you know it's 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 the parkway we call it the parkway you know um it's walking over the parkway and um that's what we call them in peterborough we have parkways everywhere but it's a small town but we have parkways everywhere it's it's because uh, anyway, I, I, well, I'll forget that. I, I want to explain that walking over the parkway is the most uplifting part of the whole walk. But Peterborough was... We we have parts of Peterborough, uh, we have Orton and we have Breton, and they were designed. They were actually designed. They weren't just built haphazard like my, most most towns are, yeah. They were actually designed. They said, we'll put this field there. We'll put that estate there. We'll put another field there. There are lots and lots of fields. And um, they put in they put in all these parkways so people get around. The whole town has been designed, you know. And uh, we're really lucky that we've got all these parkways. Um, just saying, like, you know, for such a small town, to have these big big dual carriageways for, for for a town of like when i was growing up the town was like 150,000 people um it's more now because we've we got them coming up from london because people hate fucking london and they want to come up here <laughs> you know um <laughs> um i don't that's just that's just my own personal take on london um i can give a good example right i was um I was going to uni in Reading, right? So I had to go down to King's Cross and then uh, take, take a tube to Paddington and then go out to Reading. And um, on my way into London, I'd see all these huge high-rise tower blocks and that would depress the fuck out of me. You know, that would depress the fuck out of me. And I'm just... That's all I'm expressing when I say people want to get the fuck out of London. You know, I'm, I'm, that's, all, that's all I mean. I'm expressing that feeling that I felt when I saw those tower blocks. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy. And I'm not very happy because my mood is lifted. <laughs> but I am very happy because my mood is lifted. Do you understand the difference? I, I'm not saying I'm I'm not saying my mood is lifted. What I'm saying is I'm happy because I woke up this morning and my mood was really low and now my mood has gone up and that I think that is a really positive thing and that's why I'm happy, you know. Um, yeah. So, I'm off for my walk. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing today. Um, but it's going to be all good because by 10 o'clock, I'll have got a gram of CBD weed through the post and that shit lifts my mood like fucking crazy. So I know I'm going to have a good day. I know I'm going to have a relaxing day. Um, I... I, I hate the way there's some things you just can't say on YouTube. Um, because there is a reason why why I've got more anxiety than I had before. Um, and the CBD is going to help with that. <clears throat> Hopefully it will just kill off all my anxiety and I will be in bliss central. I'll be in bliss central and... Um, when I see Ellie at um, three o'clock at Lakeside, you know, we'll have a good time. Um, sounds a bit obsessive. Um, it's just the, she's the one person in my life 
who I really, really resonate with. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why she is so different to everyone else. You know, I don't understand it at all, you know. Um, she has a job where she cares for people. Um, she goes out visiting people. She just, she literally has a job where she is just going out visiting people, making sure that they are okay. You know, that's what she does with me. And I'm the kind of person who like cares, you know, I'm, I care about the animals, you know, I'm a vegetarian. Um, I care about the planet, you know, um, I, I care that we should be using sustainable energy, you know, we should be having electric cars or hydrogen powered cars, you know. Um, interestingly enough, um, I don't know if hydrogen could power a car because um, it burns at 5,000 um, degrees Celsius, right? And um, I'll tell you something, um, Formula One cars, yeah, they burn methanol. And the reason they burn methanol is because it burns at a lower temperature. So I'm not sure that hydrogen burning at, I mean, 5,000 is fucking crazy hot. You know, um, it's, it's hotter than oxyacetylene that people use for welding. And the reason they use it is because it is, is hot enough to melt metal, you know, because a normal blowtorch won't do that, you know. Um, but if, if you had an exhaust system that distilled, because when you burn hydrogen, it produces water, right? And if you had an exhaust system that distilled the water, all of the water, because the only gas that's coming out of it is going to be water. So if it distilled all of the exhaust gases into water and you had a tank, you could inject, you, you could use injectors to spray water into every cycle of the engine. Um, and that would take out, because it takes... It takes, I did chemistry, right? And the, how do I explain this? It just takes energy to boil water, right? It takes the heat because imagine it like a pot. You got a pot on the stove. You got the heat underneath and the water stops the pan from melting. Do you understand what I mean? You know what I mean? So the water in the engine stops the engine from melting, you know. Um, anyways, I'm going to go now. Um, be dope as fuck and I'll see you later.